it's just an enjoyable night to be outside watching these great bands. And the next one coming on is another familiar band to the people in Tom's River. And it's, um, we were talking about this on a football game the other night, Dave, that looking ahead to this, that we have three tremendous bands here in the public schools in Tom's River. And each one has a style of their own. And here's the newest school of the three. And they've, they've uh, gone right in step with Tom's River North breaking off and the fact that they've come up with their own style. You want to introduce this band? The band, the Marching Raiders from Tom's River High School East, certainly have a lot to be proud of, uh, Ken. On September 29th, they traveled to West Stepford, and in the competition over there that early in the season, uh, they took best band in Group 3, and they took best band front and drum majors overall. Uh, last week, they traveled to Governor Livingston in Berkeley Heights. Again, they came up first, band, uh, first place band in Group 3, and uh, overall best band front. Uh, when they won that competition, they became one of the uh, bands that will perform and compete uh, for the prestigious uh, halftime presentation at the Citrus Bowl. That top competition comes a little bit later on in the season. Uh, the marching Raiders go into competition uh, every weekend, and their competitive season does not end until November 10th at Neshaminy, Pennsylvania at the Atlantic Coast Championships. So all of uh, Tom's River and Dover Township wishes them well in their competitive season. Um, Tom's River East will be the uh, will host the chapter championship in November, uh, November 4th, uh, starting at 1 p.m. So if you want to see what the competitive circuit is like, especially in the tournament of bands, uh, take a trip over there to Tom's River High School East on November 4th and uh, watch uh, some top-notch bands. Tom's River East being one of them. Uh, their selections tonight: their opener is Pictures at an Exhibition, Phil Solutions and Amy Romanelli on trumpet. Uh, their uh, production uh, number, their squad spotlight, is Encore and Jazz. It's a percussion solo. Uh, the head of the percussion lines are Chris Dye and Mike Cassidy. Uh, their next number is Mambo from West Side Story. They do a fine job uh, there. And their closer is We Are the Reason. And uh, Tony Tapper, who is the band director, said, uh, of all the numbers they've ever done, this is the most difficult. So, Ken, all I've got to say is, this is going to be an exciting show by a top-notch competitive band. Okay, the Marching Raider Band of Tom's River High School East.
Okay, Dave Carell, let's uh, sum up the performance of High School East. Well, I'd just like to say, Ken, that uh, I think we now all know why they're winners. And I'd like to congratulate uh, Tony Taffer, the band director, and his staff for doing an outstanding job with that marching Raider band. Uh, if we take a look at the first number, their color and sound was just uh, outstanding. Uh, that high-stepping uh, routine that they did on that push when they came forward, that's what you call general effect. Uh, that was well done. Uh, the low brass, especially in that number, when caught upon, did, a, did an outstanding job. In fact, uh, the entire band put out a nice uh, sound throughout the entire number. Uh, excellent uh, work also by all the uh, squads in the band front. Uh, a tremendous presentation there. Uh, in number, uh, the second number, uh, we saw some excellent percussion work uh, by uh, Tony's percussion section, which he takes a lot of pr pride in. Uh, uh, the front also worked well uh, as they come in, came into uh, two basic lines, a lot of sequence and ripples. And uh, if you notice during that entire number, uh, their, their marching was just excellent to get into their positions and to uh, uh, form those uh, different shapes that they had out there in the field. Uh, and uh, number three, notice the change of equipment uh, to those hot pink flags. Of course, that's color general effect, and uh, that also sets a, a mood. Uh, if you notice there, the rifles also use the flags to uh, uh, even uh, bring more color out in that field. Uh, the dance by the pom-poms was excellent, and uh, you know, if you really want to see a disciplined band, all you have to do is uh, look at those pom-poms arms at the very end of that number. That was outstanding. All right, in the fourth number, uh, the entire band front picked up pastels uh, with a change of equipment. Uh, what happens is we had a change of effect and mood, therefore soft music, therefore the pastels. Uh, all squads were circling the band uh, and doing a routine. The general effect was just outstanding. Uh, the band marched well. They rotated the forms and so forth. Uh, all I got to say, uh, Marching Raiders, that was an outstanding job. And Tony, it might be the most difficult thing you've ever done, but you did it well. All right, we'll take a quick time out.